So we're climbing back inside and reaching across to put the master in and then in doing so check to see what the fuel gauges are saying. Front tank is saying three uh, full, rear tank is saying three quarters. Uh, in order to make, um, let me do the fuel strain. I'm putting the fuel cock onto the front tank. Just checking that that's working. And air brake is down. And I don't know whether you can see it lit up there, but uh, the light is on. Okay. So that's all checked, so Master can come back off, a bit of a reach, apologise for the grunting noises. So then we're back outside. Let's remove the pito cover and stow that next to the seat. I can check it later. And while we're underneath here, making sure that the air brakes are fully extended, which they are. And I'm going to give them just a little bit of a check to make sure that they're in position. Removing the lower cowl is easy, well having said that it's relatively easy, as long as you just get it to balance properly, it's, it's really held in place with two pegs. Checking the uh, mechanical fuel pump, the leads, and go around and check fixings on the various plugs and round into the back having a look to see that all connections are made as they should be and then in here for an oil check there we go that's reading four so that's fine, that's brilliant. Put that one back in, tighten it up, and while we're in there, just check that everything is in place and locked. While I'm also this side, I do check terminals of the battery security and the levels of the fluid. Then go around the other side, check the air filter. This is a, a, a new one, I don't know whether you were aware of it, but in that landing at Shipton it was popping and banging a bit and uh, when we looked at it John did point out that it wasn't in a particularly good condition, so we replaced that. Checking to make sure they've got no leaks underneath there. As far as the carburetor is concerned, and looking to make sure that all of the air ducting is okay. Same thing with the plug leads, top and bottom, spin on filter all locked properly. Everything is as it should be on the wiring side. Electrical fuel pump is all okay. No undue leaks anywhere. Take the cap off the hydraulic brake reservoir. Yep, that's fine. Seal that one up. From the brake fluid reservoir, I tend to check the condition of the engine mounts. 
I thought we had time for a focus to work out on that one. And the other thing, while I'm here, always check the exhaust pipe. Make sure that it's no cracks and it's secure and the condition of the gaskets. But yep, that's fine. And also, while I'm here, forward of the cockpit to, to make sure that the fiddler cap on the front tank is secure. Not sure I can easily do this and hold the camera at the same time. But, uh, fuel strain and check. Yep, not a problem. No sediment, no water. And again, from the gas escalator, and that's all good. The rear tank isn't quite so easy, because it means that you have to get down underneath and check. Check. You gotta get out again. Another clear sample. I will just show you what that entails. If you get underneath there, you'll see that there is the one that we're looking at. Right. Also, while we're underneath, we have. A general look at the condition of the underside of the wings. Let me check the spinner. As we've, we've already turned the engine a couple of times and I have looked at the condition of the prop. So it's then a matter of coming around and checking on this wing. Here on the leading edge is the stall warner. If you listen, you can hear that making a noise in the cockpit. Well, it'd be better if I actually pointed the camera at it, but here we go. So that's working okay. We're looking at the condition of the leading edge and navigation light underneath to check to see how that one's working. I didn't film, but I have already checked the undercarriage. But uh, yeah, making sure that tyres are okay, uh, pumped up, and that the fairings are in the right position. And then checking on the ailerons for movement up and down, and then looking through the canopy to see the far side. And then down Check closely to make sure that they look wired. And as it should be, that's top and bottom. Nothing else, no flats on this one. Checking the condition of the fuselage. Making sure static vents are clear and that aerials are fixed. Coming back onto the tailplane, same things about checking movement and then you can't quite see where, oh, there we are. And then making sure that we've got a split pin in there and that's the way it should be. And again, on the centre there, functioning properly, down onto the tail wheel, making sure that the rudder connection is in safety and locked and doing as it should be, and condition of the tail wheel. I've had a little bit of problem with this trim tab, only in as much as it's very easy to walk onto it. Down the trailing edge of the 
rudder, condition of the tail light. But that looks as if it's the way it usually is. And then really it's a matter of copying this side um, and checking static vent. What we do need to do, I haven't fueled because I know that as you saw from earlier on, uh, fuel sufficient fuel is sufficient for the flight. So we're just making sure that that is tight. And then again, just condition of I want to come underneath that that is working. The swing tip, this navigation light. Right along the port wing here, I need to check the landing light, check the lamp, check the cover, check the gluing of the mud. That one's looking okay. Further along, it's making sure that the wing root fillet is in place. Actually, looks like I need to put a little bit of paint on there, but uh, it's intact. What I failed to say is one of the first things you do is when you have a general look you just make sure that she's sitting the way that she normally sits and that everything is as you would expect. But short of putting bits and pieces back, that is effectively what I do as a walk around. I'm not saying it is the absolute but Anybody's got any suggestions, things I've missed out, things that I could improve, then by all means leave me a comment below.